Hello, my name is Ellie Lynch and this is the SBC News 90. Intralight has turned its focus to the recovery of core business segments, having stripped all non-essential assets from its business structure. 2019 trading saw a 10% decline in revenues to 443 million euros after being impacted by Bulgarian Eurobet headwinds and severe Argentine currency declines. At the end of the year, Christos Dimitrios was appointed as new group CEO, stating that the company plans to capitalise in its recent product investments and create an even more customer-centric new organisational structure. Egyptian tennis player Youssef Hassam has been banned from the sport for life following multiple match fixing and corruption offences. A tennis integrity unit investigation established that over a four year period between 2015 and 2019, Mr Zam was involved in 21 breaches of the tennis anti-corruption programme. The independent anti-corruption hearing imposed lifetime sanction following a disciplinary hearing held in London in March. Mr Hazam is now excluded from attending or competing in any sanctioned tennis event organised or recognised by governing bodies of the sport. The Greyhound Board of Great Britain has released an operational policy which would see a five-phase approach to the resumption of behind closed doors racing as soon as the current governmental restrictions can be relaxed. Subject to the governmental announcement later this week on changes to the current lockdown period, they are hoping to start phase one as early as the 18th of May. And that's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow for your next SBC News 90.